Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a forgotten weapon that is really overpowered for mages. Now this weapon is extremely cheap and doesn't use very much mana. And I can assure you, you will use it until floor 6 or floor 7. You might even use it past that just because of its ability. I'm of course talking about the Frozen Scythe. Now, many people hate this weapon because they think that it ruined the end, which, uh, it more or less did kind of, depending on how you look at it. But it is really overpowered, especially if you look at the fact that if you have ultimate wise 4, not even 5, and a sheep pet, which I don't even have a max level or a legendary, this is just an epic level 76. It only takes 25 mana. So you can spam this thing so hard. It actually does a decent amount of damage too. And if you five star it, it does really well in dungeons. But the thing about this weapon that's most important, it's its ability. If you look down at the bottom where the ability is, it says ability ice bolt, right click. Shoots one ice bolt that deals 4,462 damage and slows enemies that it hits for 5 seconds. That slowness part, that is the key. It is super overpowered for like lost adventurers and angry archaeologists. Even like boss fight, it's so overpowered because it just makes it so... The thing you're fighting is so slow. To quickly demonstrate, I'm going to go into... I, I guess a floor 2 or floor 1, whatever fills up faster. Alright, so we did actually join a floor 1. I wanted to join floor 3, but... I actually don't want to do a full dungeon. I just want to demonstrate how overpowered the thing is. Now, even if you're not a mage, I would still use this weapon. Because it takes, like, no mana at all. So, like, if you're running Berserker with a Flower of Truth, mine is only 2 star, but... If you're running Berserker with Flower Truth, you can quickly switch to this, slow down the enemy, switch to Flower Truth, slow down the enemy, Flower Truth, slow down, Flower Truth. It is really overpowered, which... Oh no, I just realized I'm a Berserker. I was trying to demonstrate Mage because I'm a bad Berserker, but... Alright, I disconnected from that because, you know, I, I don't want to play a Berserker right now. I do not have a good set on for Berserker. Alright, let me actually make sure to switch my class to mage. Alright, we're gonna head away from these people, that way I can show you the ability, and how strong it is when it's 5 star. Alright, I'm gonna go try to find a boss to kill, like a lost adventurer or something. Oh, yep, perfect, a young lost adventurer. Okay, let's fight this with my aspect of the end, let's hit it. Watch how fast it is, okay? It's turning at me super fast, I can't do anything about it. Okay, then I switch to this, and look at how slow it is, it just can't do anything. So, like, let's just say I wanted to use my aspect to the end. I hit it with the ability, and then switch to the aspect to the end. Hit it with the ability, switch to aspect to the end, ability, aspect to the end. If I was, like, a berserker or something, or I had just a better weapon. But this still shreds through the lost adventure. Here's an angry archaeologist. Gone. Dead. Alright, so now let's test it on Blood Room. So it's going to be a little bit different because this guy won't stop spamming his bonzo staff. But, uh, we just shred through the undeads. That's what you want to call them. All I know is that they just get destroyed by this. So, I, I guess I can't really show you because this guy won't stop spamming his bonzo staff. This is what happens when you go in random lobbies. Alright, now it's time to test it on Bonzo. So obviously it's going to be a little bit different because we have this guy placing Super Boom TNT. And then we have this guy who's going to spam his Bonzo staff. But he's already gone. He's already dead. And I did most of the work. And then I, if I add my ability, my ultimate, he's just dead so fast. Like, I barely even hit him. Now, one thing I would like to mention is this is extremely expensive to 5-star. You're actually going to need 
a lot of ice essence, which ice essence you can only get in later floors, so... If you're willing to, like, pay someone else to do it for you, if you don't have the ice essence, it is so worth it. Alright, now before we end the video, I want to look at prices, just that way you guys can see how cheap it is. I don't know what's happening over here, but it's not the Christmas event, so... I guess this guy just bought a bunch of gifts. Alrighty, the lowest price for a frozen scythe is... 7.6 mil. Now, if you are a beginner and don't have much money, this is a little bit expensive, but there'll be a card that'll link a video that I posted not too long ago about how to make millions of coins in just a few minutes if you play your cards right. And I believe it's still working. Yeah, it's not working as well as it was when I released the video, but that's because Diana's mayor right now, so... It's a lot easier to get these things, so the demand is a lot less. But yeah, um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.